it made? Oh, hello. Sir Sidney McSprocket here. I've been in action capturing facts all about manufacturing. It's for this rather splendid stipendiary compendium I'm compiling. You just ask it how something is made and it'll oblige with a wholesome explanation. Just watch. How are tin cans made? The sort you get busy popping. <laughs> Well, I see that the aluminium that the cans are made from is derived from an ore called bauxite. Oh, and that quite a lot of the aluminium used also comes from recycled cans. There's tiny amounts of other metals too, like magnesium and copper. Step one. The first step is cutting a blank. A big lump of aluminium is rolled into a thin sheet and a 14 centimetre circle is cut out. This will make the base and sides of the can. The circles are laid out in a way that leaves as little waste as possible. A bit like when your granny makes biscuits with a pastry cutter. Step two. The next step is called drawing the cup. Another machine punches and pulls the circle into a can shape and a bump is pressed into the base, all in about one fifth of a second. Step three. Now it's time to trim the ears. Oh, you may well say a tin can hasn't got ears. Oh, why would it need them? This expression just means that the top of the can sometimes looks a bit wavy, and so it's trimmed to make it smooth and level. Step four. Cleaning and decorating. Rating comes next, and varnishes are used to make sure the drink doesn't get spoiled by the metal. A neck is also created, which will be fold over once the lid is added. At this point, the can will be sent to a drinks company to be filled with delicious fizzy pop. Step five. Now, once the pop is inside, we're going to need a lid to prevent spillage. Oh, it has to be thicker than the walls of the can to withstand the pressure of the beverage inside the can, and includes a ring pull to enable you to liberate the contents into your mouth. The lid is attached to the can by pressing and folding the edges together. And here is a fun bit of information to take away. The manufacturing process is so efficient that only about 1 in 50,000 cans will have a defect. Now, I must get on, but come back soon and find out more about manufacturing with my splendid stipendiary compendium. How's it made? With support from the Royal Commission for the 1851 Exhibition. Find out more at funkidslive.com.